What is going on guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another video. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. So as some of you might know, I actually made Amity Skateboard from Foley's at the Coven Day Parade. Uh, the moment I saw it, I was in love with the idea of her skating. A day or two after the episode aired, I actually decided to make her skateboard because those of you that don't know, I am an Amity stan. I love Amity so much. If you can tell by the hair and the t-shirt and, you know, the, the Amity-centric <laughs> stuff in the background, along with, obviously, I love the Owl House as well, but Amity's my favorite character. And when I saw that, I was like, I need to make the skateboard. Now, it's never something I'd done before, so I figured I would film my process of it so that way those of you if you guys want to try and recreate this you can i'm also going to be selling these so before we get into it i'm just going to show you the finished product if i could get it without the glare there we go i can't really tilt it up without the glare sorry about that i made this as close as i could because actually in the show the abomination skateboard is actually a different shape but they didn't have the shape of the abomination skateboard so i just had to kind of altered the design based off of it. And then on the back here, we had Amity's name and graffiti. I went kind of a basic route. Um, I'm contemplating doing more designs. And if you guys are wondering what the shine is, it's actually resin. My thought process behind adding the resin was, one, it will protect the skateboard, and it also makes it look more like abomination goo. It makes it look shinier, so that's why I decided to go with that. I had a lot of you vote on my community tab as to what you wanted this video to be, and the majority of you voted for both a time lapse and a tutorial, so I'm gonna do my best to walk you through my process while speeding up parts of it. I'm gonna try my best to merge the two, but we will see, because I've never made a video like this. Usually it's just time lapses, so. Also, all the materials and all that are gonna be in the description below if you wanna make one for yourself. I'm gonna link you to the exact ones I used, and I think that's about it. So without further ado, let's get into the process of building this thing. So the first order of business was actually designing the skateboard itself. Since the only footage we get in the show of the skateboard is on an angle, we have to try and create a design from straight on. Here I'll be importing images of the actual skateboard that I ordered as well as the design and then this is just a sped up time lapse of the drawing and creating process because the footage was blurry so I decided to include this instead. Now Abomination Goo is most likely on the other side of the skateboard. We never really see the bottom but I figured I wanted to do something a little bit more creative than that because it felt kind of bland to me so I decided to put Amity's name Originally, I was messing around with ideas, a little design of ghost. So you'll see I mess around with that a bit. But I wasn't too sure, so I decided the safe route to go would be just to go with the text. So if you guys would be interested in me creating a ghost type of skateboard, uh, feel free to comment that down below and I will try my best. And that was the final design. If you notice here, there's a shiny coat on the board that came with it. Um, I believe it's a protective coating of sorts. I wasn't really sure. All that I knew is that I had it to sand it off in order to make it easier for the paint to stick. So this next process you'll see I put my glove on and start sanding. And you'll see now and then I take the rag and I dust off all of the excess sawdust so I can see where the protective coating still needs to be removed from. And now, of course, since we're going to be spray painting, I wanted to show you guys that I have the garage open. It was 11 o'clock at night, and I didn't feel like getting eaten by a grizzly bear, so I did it inside. And here I'm just spraying it with a can of white primer. I got this at Lowe's, and one can was enough to cover both sides. And here I'm showing you my little USB drive that I have that I plug into my projector, which is how I got the design on the skateboard. As you see, I line it up, put it in focus, get it to scale, and then I start tracing the design on. I realized all the screenshots of the Abomination skateboard were blue. And that was because the scene was at nighttime. So in order to 
correct that. I figured it would be better to go with the typical abomination color. So I pulled up references of Amity's abominations in the past and I did the color palette based off of that. If you want to go with the more blue colored hue like it is in the Follies at the Coven Day Parade episode, by all means go for it. I just thought purple would turn out better. After I've gotten the base coat on, I knew I was going to need to add more coats and I didn't want to really go around the designs by hand anymore because it was just taking too long and it was leaving like a really streaky effect so I decided to go in with painter's tape and actually mask off the different parts of the design I wasn't painting so that way I could just easily go over the tape without having to worry about painting sections that I didn't mean to paint at the time and I would just take an X-Acto knife and go over the tape to create that stencil of sorts. And then here you'll see I continue to do it with the shapes for the face of the abomination. Now you can see it's much easier to put that second coat on, not having to worry about avoiding certain parts. Now painting the other side of the skateboard was a different story. It was wobbly because it's not a flat surface. So I decided to put two rolls of tape to kind of balance it out so it wasn't wobbling all over the place and making an obnoxious noise. Originally I was going to do the font purple, but I realized after a coat it wasn't going to really pop so I decided to do the tealish green that Amity's hair color is in season one. Mostly because I just wanted to stick with the theme of Amity. And while she didn't choose to have her hair color that way, the color is associated with her. And I liked the color with the skateboard. So that was my reasoning for it. And here's more of that tape peeling I was telling you about. It's just so satisfying to me to watch. As you can see here, I taped off the outside of the graffiti, but I realized taping off each individual shape was going to be way too much work and too complicated, so I decided to take some tracing paper that I had and trace over the design, and then I cut out the different stencils so that I could paint over it easier. I'm not explaining it that great, but you'll probably see what I mean. If anyone needs clarification, by all means, leave comments down below and I will try my best to respond to them. Also, pro tip, if you don't want to wait for the paint to dry, you can actually take a hair dryer and that actually dries the paint very, very fast, within a few minutes. So it definitely beats waiting half an hour for the paint to dry itself, which is something I picked up halfway through this project. And now you can see I'm laying the stencil on over it. And this is going to allow us to add the light mint color. Now the tracing paper started to crinkle after a while, so I only decided to do one coat with the stencil on, and then I removed it, and then after I did that, I went in by hand and added additional coats until it was a solid color. I know you got your head cut off and we started some kind of prison riot, but this was the most fun I've ever had. I don't fit in at home. You don't fit in here. If I stay, we could not fit in together. I actually messed up this part 
I didn't realize I was going to be using a thin coat of resin, and I believe the instructions called for four ounces per square foot, so I was doing the math out, and that was just way too much. I did not need that much, so it was a learning opportunity, for lack of better terms. And here you'll see I'm measuring out the resin. This particular resin calls for equal parts of the resin and hardener. Also, resin is very sticky. If you're going to be using it, please put down some form of plastic bags or old cloths, etc. The side you're not working on, tape it off those holes. Because trust me when I say it will flow through like a waterfall. And it made the process very sticky and obnoxious. So I'm just trying to teach you guys my mistakes here. Because I'd wish I'd known that when I was doing it. And here you'll see just pouring the resin on. It gives that nice sheen. Almost slimy look. Which is what we want for the abomination. Because it's made out of goo. And here you'll see I'm shoveling off the excess. Because I didn't realize how much extra stuff I had. Also, you might want a blowtorch. Like, not like a crazy blowtorch, but something better than a handheld lighter. I was honestly surprised I didn't get carpal tunnel from this whole experience by holding down that lighter f trigger for, I believe it was like 20 or 30 minutes popping all the air bubbles. And you can see on this side where all the excess resin went when I wasn't paying attention to it. So I actually sanded it down, which is why certain parts of the skateboard are white and I'm painting over it again. And thankfully, once I added the coat of resin onto the side with Amity's name, it smoothed out the majority of it, thankfully. And here you can see I'm using that hair dryer technique because I was losing my patience at this point. And here you see me adding a lot less of the resin and I spread it out with a smaller paintbrush. And I also taped off the holes on each side because I learned from the last time I did it. After you apply the resin, you're going to have to use the lighter or hopefully in your case, blowtorch. Since the resin didn't leak out the other side, it did fill some of the holes. So I'm just going in with my Dremel and drilling out the holes so that the screws for the wheels can fit. Then we're gonna wipe off all that excess resin dust. Off camera, I also painted the heads of the nails because Amity's Abomination Skateboard is made out of abomination goo, so it doesn't have nails. So I figured this way it would be less noticeable to have the heads of the nails painted the same color as the wood they were on. And then here we're just attaching the wheels. The hardest part of the wheels was having to hold the screw and the nut at the same time. The nut, I used pliers and while holding the nut with the pliers, I was screwing in with a screwdriver on the other side. And then I decided to go out and try it out to make sure it was working, and it did, and the wheels didn't fall off, which was good. And at this point, I quickly realized I was not the next Tony Hawk. I had not been on a skateboard in 15 years, and even back then I wasn't good at it, so I figured you guys would get a good chuckle out of watching me fail. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you would be interested in something like this in the future, feel free to let me know. And I will try my best to follow through on refilling those requests. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.